Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the GeForce Game Ready Driver installation error you are experiencing on your computer. This says installation cannot continue, an error occurred. So very specific, very helpful error message for us today. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the web browser of our choice. And you just want to type in NVIDIA driver download. Go ahead and search for that. You want to go right to NVIDIA.com to get it directly from the manufacturer here. So go ahead and open that up. So for product type, click inside the drop down, select GeForce. Product series, click on the drop down. Now this is going to pertain to your particular computer hardware. So just take note of that and then you're going to import it into this list here. And then product, again, it's going to be specific for your particular graphics card and operating system. Go ahead and select the correct one, whether it's Windows 10 or Windows 11. For some reason, they don't show Windows 8. I always found that that was interesting. Download type, you want to make sure you select the game ready driver. And then select the correct language from the list here. So pretty straightforward. And then you want to go ahead and select search. Select the download button. It's a pretty big download, by the way. It's about 800 megabytes, so it might take some time to download depending on your internet speed. I have very fast internet, so it shouldn't take us more than 10 or 15 seconds to download this file, which is pretty good. In your case, it may take 10 or 15 minutes, so just give it a moment here. And then once it's done downloading, you go ahead and actually open up the file to run it. And if you receive a user account control prompt, make sure verify publisher, it says NVIDIA Corporation. And select yes, close out of here. And then you want to select the OK button, unless you had a different directory you wanted to save these files to. Okay, so it can't continue because it doesn't actually have compatibility in this virtual machine. I do have a NVIDIA graphics card on my host machine, but it doesn't pick it up in the virtual machine. And I haven't gone to any sort of effort to make it recognize or utilize the graphics card in this virtual machine. It's not really necessary. I have nobody games in a virtual machine, so why would I need to do that? But anyway, in this case, you just would continue on with the installation process. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. You can see there's like five different options. So there's five different steps. You does the system check, assuming everything checks out okay. You agree to the license terms. Customize any options you want to customize. Most people don't need to customize anything. Then you install it, and then it tells you you're all finished, and you probably do want to restart your computer once it's done installing. And that's about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.